Hello guys, welcome back to another Android tutorial. Today I will show you how should you implement Spinner container step by step for your Android applications. Basically Spinner provides us a quick way to select one value from a list. As you can see this is the simple example of a Spinner which has a drop down menu with all other available values from which user can select a new font size so to change our hello world text size and this is what we are going to build today hi my name is Subhajit and i make videos on android app development so if you are new in this channel then please subscribe and hit the like button that encourage me to make more videos all right so just like an edit text or text view widget i have already added a spinner container using a spinner tag inside the main activity.xml which has an id spinner text size layout with match parent height wrap content and so on now let's move on to the main activity.java and refer the spinner so first we have to create a spinner object private spinner spinner text size then inside the on create method refer the spinner so spinner text size equal to find view by id r dot id dot spinner text size now we need some data that we have to populate in the spinner container so I have already defined a string array inside the array.xml file which is called font sizes. Now to access this string array in Java, I am going to create a string array called text sizes then equal to get resources dot get string array. r dot array dot font sizes then array adapter adapter equal to new array adapter and inside this we have to pass three parameters first one is this for the context then layout resource android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner item then text sizes which is our list now adapter dot set drop down view resource and here we have to pass another layout resource file for drop down view so android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner drop down item then call spinner text size dot set adapter and pass the adapter now let's test it on my android device so as you can see this app is running and the spinner is ready but it's not doing much on item selected so now we have to implement an interface called adapter view dot on item selected listener then press alt enter implement methods and these two methods we have to override here one for on item selected and another one for on nothing selected now in on item selected method we have to update the ui in this case we will update our hello world text size so if parent dot get id equal to r dot id dot spinner text size then update the text size of hello world text all right to get the text size from a spinner call parent dot get item at position and and pass the selected position then dot to a string but we didn't refer our hello world text view yet so let's create a text view object called t 
txt hello world then inside the on create method txt hello world equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt hello world now go back to the on item selected then set the text size of this txt hello world so txt hello world dot set text size then float dot parse float and pass the string of text size now let's test the application again so if i select the text size from the spinner hello world text size not updating right because we forgot to call spinner text size dot set on item selected listener so this is important to call and pass this let's test it again so as you can see this time our hello world text immediately updates to its current size so I hope you got the basic idea of a spinner and how you should implement for your Android applications. If you still have any questions or suggestions, please drop your message in the comment box. I'll be happy to hear from you. So like, share and subscribe for more video tutorials. That's all for now guys. See you soon in the next one. Thank you.